I will assist. Now that you mention it, you can start by removing my restraints. <laughs> oh my god, Captain, you're so funny. It's like one of the things I love the most about you. No, 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 no. If I do that, you'll leave. I can't have that, Captain. What do you want, Lisa? Galactic goodwill, peace, you know, all that. <laughs> I almost believed myself. did he do to me? Who is the other prisoner that appears to be me? Long lost twin, genetic clone, alternate reality. Take your pick, Captain. But does it really matter? I'm not a scientist. You'll have to ask the doctor what he's been up to. Now, I'm vanished, and you know how pigs you like to play with their food. Fine. Yeah, sure. Let's do it. I mean, why not? It's, you know, it's definitely been a while. How does it work with Pixie exactly? Is it me on top? Is it you on the bottom? Not really sure how this is going to go down. I'm surprised, Captain. For a Pixie, that is truly a rare thing indeed. Oh. Oh, I see. You're messy. Trying to deceive me. What? Second thoughts? I resist. You're angry with me. I give in. You're angry with me. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do here, Lisa. Don't worry, Captain. In any event, I'm going to enjoy every morsel that is you. All right, I've got the computer bypassed. I just have to get the secondary relays online. Transfer the power. Any business? Computer? Just check it. All right, that should do it. I'll have to control everything I need, but at least we're up and we're running. Now if I can just access the navigational sensors... Gotcha! Shouldn't take more than a day to get there. Hang in there, Captain. Help is on the way. The Bionic Fleet Vessel has established a Wi-Fi connection to the Earth's mainframe. So, they are responsible for the severe weather anomalies. With access to the mainframe, they can shut down the entire game. What is, like, the point of all this stuff? They are restoring the valleys. What does that mean? Forced lockout to compensate for the giant's actions over the past several months. Alright, Gale, you and Tick have a go. Laura, get back to your ship and everything. We don't have time to wait for DTA and stuff. We will not come long before being overrun, but hopefully we can give you enough time to access their computer systems and hopefully shut them down. I'm ready, Hawk. I too am ready. Let's do it. You must calm your anxiety. Imagine your energy. Picture it gray and visualize it, Jane. To white. Breathe in deep and breathe out. Hold it. That's right. Good. Good. We must retain our calm if we are to escape this place. Find your strength. Hold it and never let it go. Where do you come from, boy? I don't know. But we don't have pixie giants, robots, and fairies there. That sounds... boring. What is your name? I am Uncle Arky. I'm Dev. Dev, you say? How is he? He will be okay, but I am experiencing deja vu. How so? Our conversation was exactly like a conversation I had when I met the captain. It was eerie. Are you saying he has memories that are the captain's? I do not know that, but it is a concern. He calls himself Dad, 
It's exactly what the captain used to call himself at his age. He seemed to be aware of the deja vu that I was experiencing. I think he was experiencing it also. Fascinating. However, none of this helps our current situation. I agree. Our focus should be on getting out of here. I want to be ready by the time they bring back the captain. You mean if they bring back the captain? Lisa will never seriously harm him. I concur. Lisa's affection for the captain is much like a human's affection for his pet. Let's try not to repeat that when the captain is around. But he's right. She will mess with him and maybe torture him for fun, but she would never harm him completely. I hope you are both right. Pixie upgrades are coming online now. We are entering weapons range on battle stations. Bring the new Pixie weapons to full power, I think and, like, max them out. They will seriously drain our power reserves. I can't say how long we'll be able to retain light. Just saying. Let's hope the new power cells hold. Enemy ships are moving in our direction. They're on to us. Take us right at them. I'm on it. The Pixie are moving to support our position. I suggest a strafing attack run to avoid excessive damage to our Sounds good. Contact them. Let them know the plan. What's the problem? I am encountering a firewall I did not anticipate. It must have updated their antivirus since you left. I am not certain I will be successful in infiltrating these systems in the allotted. Keep trying. I'll keep an eye out. Acknowledge. What's happening? I have been discovered. You need to get out of there. I have not yet completed our assignment. If they catch you, then it's game over. You lose. I won't allow that to happen. I understand. I will transfer myself out. Make it quick. We must break away. We can't take another direct. The shields have failed. What? The pixie vessels and everything. They are not doing any better. Alright, signal the pixie to break off and beat at the designated rendezvous. We can like... I'm detecting several vessels emerging from the portal to hell. Incoming. Establish communication with the lead ship, maybe. Forgive us for being late. It was not... My army to fight on your behalf. We're just glad you finally made it, TTA. We'll take some of the heat off of you. You heard him, Ark. Adjust our position. The Pixie are also to allow the Hell Vessels access to the front line. Gale? You're back really quick and slow. Where is Gale 2? Right here. He transferred himself before we were caught. Any luck with your objectives or anything? I'm afraid not, but he was in there a good while. Maybe he accessed something we can use. Re-upload him into our systems. We've lost weapons and our shields have failed. We're losing altitude. The Pixie are attempting to contact us. Put it up. Our ships can't take much more of this. We must regroup and try this again at a later time. I agree with war. We must survive this day. It's your call, Tom. Alright, get us out of here. Contact DTA ships and let them know to regroup at the rendezvous coordinates. We are being jammed. The lead bionics vessel is now attempting to contact us. Now they want to talk? Looks like the engine trail ends here. Two systems within the range and only enough power to get to one. That's a 50-50 chance. Make the call, Scott. 
what am I gonna do once I get there? One step at a time, Scott. Let's see how this goes, maybe. We'll get through, I think. I am Oral of the Bionics. I am here to retrieve Galak, the program you know as Tick 2. You have completely devastated our game. Why? Balance has been restored. Right. The Force logout thing. We, like, tried to contact you for days. Would it have been so hard to respond and stuff? I neglected to realize your primitive communication attempts. It took longer than expected to reconfigure our systems to your specifications. I have answered enough questions. Give me Galak, or I will dismantle this entire game, starting with your office. I'm, like, not sure what he did exactly or anything, but I won't abandon my friend. Your actions will have consequences that even I cannot compute. I have no interest in this game, its players, or its world. However, if you do not comply with my request, I will destroy you. This office is instrumental in the protection of this region at this time. Eliminating us will have serious consequences for your own future. You must reconsider. I must do nothing. I have my orders and nothing you can say can change them. You have one hour to comply. Report. All other Bionics ships have retreated from Earth orbit. The lead ship has deactivated its weapon systems. What about our allies and everything? Hell's forces and the Pixie fleet are powered down and standing by for your orders. Okay, like, I mean, open communications with the Pixie lead ship, maybe. Our vessels await instructions. We've taken heavy damage, but our engineers are already working hard at making repairs. We stand by for your orders. We've, like, managed to contact them and everything? They've agreed to maybe meet in person. I want you to come with me as a representative of the Pixie. By the way, have you heard from the Admiral? I've left several messages, but so far I've not got a response back. Who are these creatures? What do they want with Earth? They call themselves the Bionics. Robots from, like, the future and everything. They want us to turn over Tick 2 to answer for his crimes or something, maybe. Understood. I'll be right over. Laura, out. Are you planning to invite DTA to this gathering? That would not be wise. He isn't exactly a diplomat. I never, like, agreed to anything. Any luck retrieving information we can use to our advantage and stuff? Not yet, but we are still working on it. Tip 2, I mean, Galak is still processing the information he obtained while in the Bionics computer system. Okay, but like, keep at it and everything. I mean, there must be something we can use, maybe. Just kill me and get it over with. I would never let anything bad happen to you. Guards, take him back to his cell and make sure he gets a good meal. What does Jedmok want with me? Why are you doing this? Lisa, answer me. All right, trail ends here. I gotta search for a great place to hide until I can reactivate defensive and offensive capabilities. The second moon has a strong magnetic self wall. It should be sufficient to hide the ship's power signature. But we won't have long, Scott. Captain.
Captain. What have you done to him? Jed Mock took something from me. He probed my mind and extracted something from my blood. Sorry to interrupt, Captain, but it seems the guards have neglected to lock our cell properly. I believe we can force it open. It's now or never. Come, Dad. We are leaving this place. Are you certain that is the correct course of action? We're not going to just leave him here. Let's go. So, like, you understand where we're coming from, maybe? I understand loyalty, but I do not understand your position. This is getting us nowhere. It is like talking to the wall. Perhaps we can all benefit from a recess so everyone can clear their heads and their programs. I extended an invitation to you here as a courtesy to show respect and to show you that I mean you specifically no harm. But a recess is unnecessary. You understand what Gallic has done and why I must return with him. What is your response to my request? I, like, came here as a show of respect to you as well. But, like, our position has not changed or anything. You must understand we take friendships very seriously in this game. We fight vigorously and tirelessly to protect our friends. Don't bother. His program clearly cannot be changed. The demon one is correct. I have my orders. Failure to complete my mission is not an option for my programming. I'm afraid I have wasted enough time here. What the fuck are you, like, doing and stuff, maybe? We agreed to come here in good faith. You really should not provoke these two. Provocation is not my intention. If you prefer to destroy this entire experiment. You'd better get us out of here. Grab my hands and lick them back to the office. Whenever you're ready, Iggy. It's... it's not working. He has some kind of magical defenses activated. I have had enough of this game. Stand back. I accessed these alien systems as if they were mine. Deactivate the power systems that hold us here and confine. Iggy, try now. How did it go? Not well, I assume? They were not interested in compromise. It was nothing more than a show of intent. What is the status of those ships? They're powering up, but so far they're maintaining their position. We're not going to negotiate our way out of this. Open a channel to the Hellforce Lead ship. Get ready to fight, DTA. We were like unsuccessful in our attempts at negotiations, maybe. We are ready. Laura, you might want to get back to your ship and get ready to fight. This was all just a little too easy. You believe we were permitted to escape? Either they haven't discovered we're missing or they let us go. Who cares? We got out of there, that's what matters. He is right, but now what? This vessel is not capable of faster than light travel. I'm detecting a vessel approaching. It's the Airy Edition. We are receiving a transmission, putting it through. Scott, we weren't sure what happened to you. Sorry it took so long, Captain. Laura locked out the computer and I wasn't able guess her access code. I had to bypass every major system just to get the ship operational. The boss. Capital T, capital V. Sir? Laura's access code. She uses it for everything. You've got access to the cargo bay, Captain. As soon as you're on board, we can set a course out of here. Understood, Scott. David out. Thank you. 
long enough to deactivate the weapons and shields. Alright, you've gotta go, I think. 